Bravissimi, bravi, bravi. It's not every day that Sicilian anti-mafia police are congratulated on the streets of Palermo. But they've just arrested Italy's most wanted mafia boss, Matteo Messini Danaro, who's been on the run for 30 years. The man reported to have once boasted that he could fill a cemetery with his victims didn't resist. It was a major pre-planned operation and at least one other arrest was made. The police and prosecutors are now celebrating, congratulated by Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni. The police had accused Massini Di Naro of bombings on the Italian mainland that killed 10 people. The Prime Minister went on to pay her respects to murdered judges, including one of Massini Di Naro's victims, Giovanni Falcone. It's a day of celebration for respectable people and it's a day of celebration for the relatives of the victims of organized crime because the sacrifice of so many heroes was not in vain because some others took over their legacy and the war has been carried on. Right now, Messina De Naro doesn't look like the godfather, but the 60-year-old is seen as the last in a line of old-school senior figures to have either died or been arrested in the Cosa Nostra. That's the Sicilian crime syndicate portrayed in the Godfather movie. Matteo Messina Denaro was the youngest member of a leadership group within the Sicilian Mafia that took control of the Sicilian Mafia in the early 1980s, essentially by massacring all their rivals, and then mounted a major attack on the Italian state. Now the question is whether Messina Denaro will reveal any of his many secrets among them the names of politicians suspected of conniving with the Mafia. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.